Music of the Stars was commissioned by the Chamber Singers of Iowa City conductor David Puderbell. And when they asked me to write this piece, um, they, they offered various texts to me. Two of them I chose. One was by Brian Odongo, who's a Kenyan-born poet, and another one by James Weldon Johnson, The Gift to Sing, which is really quite well known. And so I, I found it quite interesting to see how I could find a third one. Now, the, the texts themselves, they had to do with the power of music. And I think what the commissioners really wanted was a feeling of what the power of music gave to people in the time of the pandemic, because this was when it was commissioned. And I wanted something that would have a quality of light about it. I found um, a wonderful astrophysicist, communicator. Um, uh, he had written about uh, all sorts of interesting scientific subjects and one was how we perceive light and so I thought that that would be one that would work very well with singing with the stars and light and really basically the sky as well the heaven above us. Setting prose and poetry I feel have got much in common with each other I think the most important thing is setting the words in a way that are faithful to the writer, to the poet. And I think that now a lot of poetry is almost like prose. So in fact with uh, taking a piece of prose one can almost make it into poetry. For example, you can take words and repeat them. Some words chime with each other and it's somehow positioning those in important places in the music that actually give that kind of resonance and chime. So I, I think, above all, it's about letting the words speak for themselves and not to get in the way. I think one always hopes with whatever you write um, will resonate with a choir in some way or other. And again, I think it's quite important that the words themselves speak to the choir and to the conductor. I, I think with Music of the Stars, there's something special about it in the sense that it was composed in the pandemic, it was um, thought of in the pandemic, and I think what happened, of course, in the pandemic is we were deprived from singing. So there is, I think, a strong association between the power of music and what it can bring.